welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we make a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for a more meaningful life. So without further ado, let us show you how the week unfolded. Hello and welcome to Saturday. Easter Saturday and guess what the sun is shining oh yes it is after days and days of rain we've woken up this morning there's blue sky and there's sunshine makes me very happy so what are we up to today I hear you ask well we are going to Slapton Sands we've driven past it a couple of times and every time we drive past it we go oh it'd be great to stop there I've got ourselves a little picnic. We bought some delicious sausages yesterday from the butchers. So I've cooked those, made some sausage sandwiches. I've got a cup of lemon and ginger tea for me and a flask of tea for Glenn. So come on, let's go. We're weaving down these gorgeous lanes to get to the ferry that will take us across to Dartmoor. Fortunately, this road is one way. Got a nice view of Dartmouth over there. You can tell the ferry's just pulled in. Lots of cars coming off. So we're still in the queue. There was a van driver delivering some barrels of beer to a, a pub. One fell off his sack barrow and started rolling down the hill and he had to run after it. And while it was going, I was thinking this would make an excellent short, but I just could not bring myself to video this guy's bad day. So that happened, he caught it, he had to run after it. It was a bad day for him. But anyway, we're still in the queue. The other thing that happened is a car pushed in front of us, but I don't think they realised, but the van driver behind us has taken great offence and there's a lot of pointing and uh, shouting down there. Is is not happy. Here comes the next ferry. We're first in queue. we're off it's busy today Easter weekend lots of people out on the river lots of boats so this is where this detaches and spins around to take us in the right direction first time we were on board when that happened I was like where's he going but he spins it round and it reattaches Oh, it gives us a great view. Dartmouth always looks so beautiful in the sunshine. I would absolutely love to live here, even though it does get so busy with holiday makers in the summer. And there we go, just, li just literally a couple of minutes to get from one side to the other. If we went by road, it would have taken an hour to get here. And off we go. Now we're not stopping in Dartmouth. We are going on to Slapton Sands, which means a very tight turn here. Then that's not good. Road ahead closed. That's good. Oh, that's not good at all. Exactly sure where the road is closed, but let's not risk it. So I've just put in the sat nav, found a different way to get to Slapton Sands. It's going to take us a while to weave round, but come on, let's go. We're going through a village called Stoke Fleming. It's got some down the streets. We've just got to wait so some traffic can get past. narrow little streets you wouldn't believe they're two-way would you but they are we've actually been this way before yeah. in the summer and it was busy there's a caravan site here called Leonard's Cove looks lovely amazing sea views this is beautiful Oh, it's so lovely to see some blue sky and some sunshine. 
we just pass in Blackpool Sands, an amazing beach, great to spend the day there. But we are continuing onwards to Slapton Sands. Climbing back up the hill, we get a really good view from here as we look over. Not you, Mr. Warner, you look forward, but I can just tell you, it is beautiful. Look at that. Devon is looking glorious. Road still twisty and turny, but the bus comes up here, so it's not too small a road. Look at that down there. There's a house down there on the rocks. What an amazing view they must have. We're now dropping down the hill. Look at those gates. They're impressive. More narrow lanes and oncoming vehicles. A lot of cyclists out today as well. Just saw two cycling up the hill. Wow. That must have been a huge effort because we felt the hill in the car, let alone on a bike. As I said, we have driven past here a handful of times, but we have never stopped. And I think Slapton Sands actually has historical significance because I think this is where they practiced the D-Day landing during the war. Loads of parking. Shake 10 pence, it looks like it's been through the action. So this memorial was presented by the United States Army authorities to the people of the South Hams who generously left their homes and their lands to provide a battle practice area for the successful assault in Normandy in June 1944. Their actions resulted in the saving of many hundreds of lives and contributed in no small measure to the success of the operation. So we're walking back along this path. It's a little muddy in places, but it's not too bad. We've made it back to the car park. I think there's an ice cream with my name on it. Oh, that was a great walk. I really enjoyed it. Oh, Mr. Warner, I could drive around these Devon roads for hours. Just look at that view. It is amazing. We're dropping down into Dartmouth sun. in the sun. It's amazing, isn't it? It changes everything when the sun is out. It's busy along here today. People waiting to get on the ferries. We're in the queue for the ferry. Here we go. Ferries just come in. go it's turning round here we are literally a couple of minutes to get across pedestrians getting off first and up we go Good afternoon and welcome to Easter Sunday. We've been just doing nothing this morning. We've just been pottering about, listening to an audio book, just doing nothing, which has been lovely. We are now off into Paynton. We're gonna go and get some lunch. Come on, 
let's go. Glenn just mentioned that it is actually nearly four o'clock, so could this technically be dinner? I mean, this brings up a question. When is lunch and when is dinner? After yesterday's blue sky and sunshine, we woke up this morning and it was as if someone had said, no, that's enough now. Can't have too much of that. It's another grey day. The clocks went forward this morning and it always messes with my head a little bit. So we just jumped in the car and the clock in the car still says 10 to 2. It takes me a while to get back to normal after the clocks change despite the weather being a bit rubbish there's still lots of people about that's busy down the front here today given the fact that there's about 12 cars in front of us all cruising for a space i don't think we're going to be lucky lots of people just braving the weather they don't care it's so cold well we've nearly run out of options down there it doesn't look like there's going to be a space so onwards to the next place. Okay, Miss Orna, where oh, next? Going around to the harbour one. We thought we found a space, a lady was just leaving, but it was only one hour. There's some parking down here though. I've never been this way before. No. Never. Never, never, never. Where's the parking? No, oh look, there's a blue sign. It says parking. Well, never knew this was here. Uh, the question is, Mr. Warner, up or down? Up, up, up. Up, up. Oh, this is, this is tight. Loads oh, of loads of spaces. Abundant in spaces. Oh, I like a find of a new car park. Well, look at this. Everyone's scrabbling around for spaces. Wow. Bingo. It's looking a bit rough out there today. We're going to Harbour Lights. Can you see it over there? That's where we're going for lunch. Right, hopefully this will take us straight down to the harbour. Bring you right down to the harbour. It's really breezy. What a shame. They had a little market on today, but the weather. Anyway, this is where we're eating, but we've got half an hour or so for a walk, so we're going to have a wonder. <laughs> The blue water in the crazy gulf, I don't think that's natural. We've been here a couple of times, but we've never sat upstairs, so it's really lovely up here. I can't decide between the leg of lamb and the apricot and chestnut roast. Can't decide. So that's Glen's, it looks very lovely. Mine, not so. It is so cold. And horrible outside. We've just walked back to the car. It's miserable. But we did have a lovely meal. It was really lovely. I didn't have dessert either. Let's get back to the caravan. I'm really pleased we found that car park, Glenn. That was a good find. Mr. Warner, the question is, are they perfect? What? It is always a tricky one. Overcooked, undercooked, or overcooked. just per oh, overcooked. Over Hello and welcome to Monday, Easter Monday, also the 1st of April. Now this isn't an April Fool's joke, no it's not. I've decided that this is the month I'm going to get fit. Oh yes, I know, I know, it's not a joke, it's real. So far this morning I've done two exercise videos and I've committed to walking over 10,000 steps a day. I've written it down in my book and everything. It's, it's going to happen. We are going to walk down into Brixham. Going to get some stuff for dinner. Mr Warner's been through the old HelloFresh recipes and picked one that he fancies. So going to pick up a couple of ingredients for that. We'll have a stroll around, try and get in 10,000 steps and then we'll walk back up that hill. The hill that I struggled with last week. I just didn't have the energy. So let's see. Let's see how we go. 
do not be fooled by this weather. We've had all the weather this morning. Rain, sunshine, dark clouds. Look at these. Don't they look gorgeous? Everything's coming to life. So it's busy down here. The sun has brought the people out. We've got families down here crabbing, which I always love to see. I was just saying to Glenn, when I checked the weather forecast yesterday, it said there was going to be heavy rain for midday today all the way through and I was resolved to an indoor day. Look how lovely it is. Lots of people on the beach, jet skis out, sun's out, dogs swimming in the sea down there. It's breezy. We're just going to go to the break water. Mr. One's going to grab a coffee. I'm not actually going to have anything, no. I've got some water and I'm good with that. This is my favourite charity shop. Let's go and have a quick look. So they had a really gorgeous dress in there. I loved it. I, I really ummed and ahmed. But no, I left it there. So good news. My watch has told me I've already done 10,000 steps. And so the hill continues. We've made it. I just had a little panic. I'm making some pickled radishes and I've got the rice wine vinegar. I was just like, Glenn, we've got no white sugar. It goes, I've got some in my pocket. Yeah got some sachets. I'm just going to make these first, set them aside before I start cooking. I've chopped the spring onions, I've chopped the green cabbage. In here I've got the miso paste, the chicken, the soy sauce and a little bit of oil. I'm just toasting some sesame seeds and I've got some mayo in a jar. I'm going to add some water, add some sesame seeds and that'll make a sesame seed mayo. There we go. Stick that in the oven now. Oh, it's that rain that they've been saying's coming. Anyway, Mr Warner, dinner is served and I think it's going to taste delicious. It is absolutely pouring with rain. It's so strange to believe just a couple of hours ago we were sitting on the beach. Hello and welcome to Tuesday. We packed up and left the caravan after I finished work this morning. Busy at work today, didn't like it. It's too busy, too much going on. We are about halfway. We're just coming, oh, have we passed Bristol yet? No, but no. we're just coming up to Bristol. Miss Warner? Do you remember we went for an interview last week? It's been off a job. I'll tell you all about it later, but that's very exciting. That helps us decide what the next six months is going to look like for us. We'll crack on with this journey. We're heading back to Debs and I'll chat with you when we get there. I've got to tell you, I'm very pleased with myself. You know, I set the target of walking 10,000 steps a day. Well, yesterday I managed about 13,000 and this morning I set my alarm for six o'clock and I dithered about getting up to go for a walk. I dithered for a long time and my head basically went like this, get up and go for a walk. And then I was like, I don't want to. And then it was like, go on. And then I don't want to. And then I was like, but you're awake, just get up. Oh no, but I don't want to. That went on for some time. In the end, I did get up and I did go for a walk and I caught the sun just as it was hitting the harbour. It just looked wonderful. It was worth it and I feel better for it. So I'm pleased with myself about that. We just stopped at McDonald's for a quick coffee and to stretch our legs. We are only about an hour and a half from Deb's now. We're only staying one night because tomorrow is the start of the big clearance at Glenn's mum's place. It is the week where it's all going to get done. Just look how green these trees now are. Deb's done a delicious feast here. It smells gorgeous. Raining outside. I think it followed us. Down from Devon, it's followed us all the way. Maybe I'm just like an eel and I have a black cloud above my head and it rains wherever I go. Glenn's gone straight for the beetroot because he loves that. But both me and Glenn, we have never tried artichoke hearts. 
Deb says they're delish, so we're definitely going, going for them. Hello and good morning. It's quarter past eight. Mrs. Warner went to work ages ago. I've got to take the BMW. Well, I've got to fill the boot up with all of our stuff first of all. I've got to go to the office, do a couple of jobs there. Then I need to go to the boat. I want to get a couple of jobs done. The roof that I painted when we bought the boat is coming back really rusty again. So I want to treat it because I'm not going to be around much this summer. I'm going to go and do that. Need to see if the BMW starts for a start. Anyway, let's see how we go. So I know the car is really low on fuel. The question is, what have I done with the key? Well, first I've lost the key. What did I do with that? Right, bear with. Okay, so I found the key, put it in the boot. Let's see if it was gonna go. Tell you what, do you know what? It's been left for ages, this car, and it always does start. I'm going to take that as a good sign for the rally. So I'm at the office. We have got to fit a lot of my mum's stuff in this room. Well, what I've started to do is clear this area. I want to clear this area so that we can put it all sort of here. It's not going to be the easiest job and I, can't, I don't want to block anything in. I think we're going to struggle a little bit. So that's me done at the office. I'll show you what I've done. So basically I've cleared this area this area on the end put my toolbox over there and cleared all this i'm sort of pushed stuff down so we can still get to stuff idea is we need to get it sorted and gone as quickly as possible right i've just had a go at roofs sorry teal's roof um bit of a rub down and uh, treat some of the rust on top of the roof it's just a quick one um trying to give it some protection while i'm not here over the summer i'm just waiting for mrs warner to finish work well good afternoon to you well i've been working all day and you've been with mr warner hopefully he showed you lots of stuff that he's been doing we are now on our way to St Albans. This is the big push, the final leg, the final bit of this journey of clearing out Glenn's mum and dad's house. By the end of this weekend, it should be done. So come on, let's go. Oh, the traffic is bad. We've been on this journey for quite a while now. It's just heavy just lots of traffic everyone trying to get home it's the wrong way lisa it's the wrong way everyone yeah. should be going northbound not southbound well today glenn everyone's going this way so we're here we arrived that was a long journey it yeah, shouldn't have been that long anyway we've just walked through the door harry has just called glenn they're just sorting out logistics of vans and cars and skips. It is all going on over the next couple of days. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. Today, the skip is arriving. The beds are gonna go into and the stuff that we can't get down the tip. So that's arriving today. Mr. Warner worries about things. When we were booking the skip, I was like, should we get this one? He was like, no, no, that's gonna be too small. Let's get a bigger one. I was like, well, what about this one? Mm, better to be safe than sorry, go for the biggest. I'm like, okay, okay. So, we've got a big skip coming today. Yes, we have. I'm a tad worried it's going to be a little too big for what we need. But Mr. Warner is, is the man in charge, so we just go with him. I've got a couple of hours of work to do this morning, just a couple of hours. Let's go find Glenn actually, hopefully he is in the kitchen making coffee. He is making coffee. Oh, nobody wants the clown. This clown has sat here, well actually it hasn't sat here, it sat in this space here on a chair for decades. And the kids find it a little bit creepy. No one wants it. And we're just like, oh, is he destined for the skip? He is very old and tatty. What are you thinking about the clown? I was going to sneak it into my sister's house. <laughs> You're going to sneak it into Debbie's? <laughs> Somewhere, yeah. So, so she just opens a cupboard and the clown will be there. <laughs> yeah. You put it in the cupboard under the stairs. <laughs> 
Skip Laura's just arrived. Mr. Warner's out there. Right, I've finished work for the morning. I had so much fun this morning working. I created a short video for work. Anyway, what's not really fun is that I've got to go and help Glenn now. We're just keeping some pots from my mum and also we're going to take some down the caravan as well. This is hard work, it's hard heavy work. Good news is my mum is having the water feature. That's the water feature upside down because it was full of water. I, I think we're almost done out here. The heaviest things is the pots full of, full of old mud and wheat. Right, I am going to go and get us some lunch. Poor Mr Warner is starving, so come on, let's go get him some deliciousness. So I was going to go to the supermarket and get a meal deal. I thought, oh, there's a baker's nearby, we don't need a meal deal. For a sneaky treat, I brought Mr Warner a cherry bakewell. It's his favourite. I brought some yoghurt topped cranberry flapjack. I mean, it's got yoghurt on, it's got cranberry on. I mean, it's a virtual health food. Lunch eaten, that was delicious. It's time to do some more work. Poor Mr Warner, he's been filling that skip all morning. It's time for the big boy stuff. Glenn said, can you help me? Can you catch the bed? He's gonna lower it down off the balcony using a rope and a hook, and he just wants me to catch it. What could go wrong? You ready, Mrs. Warner? Ropes and pulleys. <laughs> it's a long way down. Look, we've managed to get another bed down and uh, the mattress that goes with that big bed. It was tricky. My back is killing me. I've just emptied loads of pots of soil and put those on the garden. I mean, I've got to say, it's the most neatly organised skip I've ever seen. Mr Warner's covered up the skip, he's tidied up the garden, this is all that's left now. He just don't stop, he really doesn't. He just keeps on going. He's taken the legs off this table, legs are here, as it'll be easier to transport tomorrow. Right, I'm going to walk down the shop. Not because I want to, no, because we need something for dinner and also I only need a couple more thousand steps and then I'll reach my target for today. I'm back from my shopping expedition. I've got good news and bad news. I've got something delicious for dinner, the not so good news. I was hoping that I'd tick over into 10,000 steps while walking down there. I haven't. I'm on something like 9,000 and something. I'm sure by the time I go to bed, that will say 10,000, even if I have to walk up and down and up and down. Well, in good news, whilst I was waiting for the oven to heat up, I thought I'd do a quick five minute exercise video and uh, I've tipped over. I've tipped over my 10,000 steps. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Today is our penultimate day in the house yes it is tomorrow last day busy busy day ahead harry and leo are coming down from northampton harry's picking up a big van the furniture that's left taking it to northampton where it will need to be sorted at a later date look at that bit sticking up ignore that we're almost there it's those last bit there's just a lot of them before that happens though i'm speaking to my friend tara and i'm really looking forward to it i haven't spoken to tara for ages i'm gonna jump on a call have a chat with tara wait for harry and leo to get here and then we'll start the hard work mr warner how are you feeling about it being the penultimate day that we, I, I just feel until stuff starts going on the van and start seeing the space. Yeah. I can't see the back end of it. <laughs> it'll come uh, once we've got one pound blade full gone. I'm sure it'll look a lot emptier. Can I just say, I was sleeping on the floor last night on a mattress 
but on the floor it was super comfy but when i went to bed i was looking for my pajamas and i said to glenn have you seen my pajamas and glenn goes oh were they white yes oh i threw them away <laughs> so i had no pajamas i had to borrow one of glenn's t-shirts it's really taking this a step too far it's got a couple of cards this is from Karen, this one. Oh, look at that. Be Creepy. Can you see it? Creepy. Beautiful. Creepy. To Lisa and Glenn, have a lovely Easter. I enjoy every vlog you make. Thank you. Oh, Love, thank Karen. You. Very nice handwriting. There. Yes, beautiful handwriting. That is a beautiful card. We'll do this one later. My phone's ringing. Got to go. I've just had a lovely chat with my friend Tara and it's perfect timing because Harry has just arrived. Here's H.E. There's nothing like a bit of pressure, is there? Loads of people watching you reverse something. Here he is. It's Leo as well. Hello, my darling. How are you? Are you good? Give us a hug. Oh, that small encounter with Dave. Got this, yeah. all of this stuff. I'm going to get Deb to take all this later yeah it's got to go leo's just come up with a great idea for the bar leo what do you reckon breakfast bar a breakfast bar you could have your breakfast on it that could work there's nothing to light around here is it no so, oh, get, get the, for me i'm ready yeah watch the steps yeah there's a couple of bits in there yeah I don't know where Grandad got that from, Leo. I don't know. Is it a proper one? Oh, it is as well. Are you right there, Leo? No. Out you go. <laughs> Just in the end, um, like I'll change off. Oh, oh. Oh, well, who's that smashing chat? Uh, Ollie. That's not Ollie, that's me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that looks like him. Oh, God. Look at all these. Is it like a big game of Jenga? It is. It'll be more fun the other side. We're going to walk up to the shop and get some stuff for lunch. I'm going to take Leo and we're going to have a look at the clock. So we're having a look. And I, I know where it is and I still can't see it. We come with deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered where you'd got to. <laughs> you got yourself a chair. Yeah. You got yourself a little set up in the corner. Are you comfy there? Oh, crack on, my darling. Last final bits going on. Okay. Leo's got his eye on that H. What, the 59? Yeah. Oh, Where's he going to Well, he goes to a swimming pool, he said. He could have it. He could have it. It'd take probably two days to pump up. <laughs> First load. I feel so sorry for Glenn. It's the unloading that's the, that's the hard work. What happened to your jeans? Lucky it was my jeans, not my leg. What a happened? Piece of metal hanging out of the mattress, and as we Pull it, I pulled it over, it just went through my jeans. I haven't seen that. No way. Here, don't put it up, it's un unlucky. Yeah. How does that work? Let's have a look at the, ha the handle. All I'm going to say, buy this, right? This is quite gangster. It, look at that. I mean, the, the top colour doesn't go with it. Quite it the, doesn't, the it, it, yeah. You know? That is the craziest umbrella I've ever seen. It's like a, <laughs> it's, like a it's like a magician's thing. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that is the craziest umbrella I've ever seen. So this was in the early 2000s. So I used to come come down in the mornings when I spent the night here, and I'd go out to the, the uh, this this bit out, out here, the workshop. I, 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 in there. Yeah. I used to sit there with Grandad. Yeah. And I used to light his cigarettes for him. <gasps> you did not. <laughs> not not like then. No, I used to just get the lighter and do L that. And yeah, and yeah. But um, yeah, he would, he would learn, let me do it if Nan was not in, in sight because yeah. he knew he'd get in trouble. Really? So, yes. you, you and Grandad. Well, you, we got you... to some rights of shooting in the garden. You, yeah. yeah. I'm sure everyone's heard the stories. Yeah. But, yeah the, the troubles, but yeah, lots of lots of memories and lots of. Um, 
you know, feelings coming back and things like that being in the house, it's, it's hard. It is it hard, is hard, isn't it? It mm. is hard. Yes. Right, Leo, it's been good to see ya. I'll see you guys later. Right, they're heading back to Northampton. So, there's lots of logistics going on. I've got to wait here, a couple of reasons. Number one, there wasn't room for me in the van. Number two, I've got to wait for the scrap metal man. I've also got to wait for the skip man. The reason I've got to wait for the skip man is we've put two mattresses in the skip and when it was delivered yesterday, they said that each mattress costs 20 pounds. So I'm here with 40 quid to give to the skip man who may or may not be coming today because we're scheduled for a pickup tomorrow but we rang them earlier and said, look, it's, it's ready, it's done, you can come and take it away. And they said they'll try and get round today. Glenn's coming back later with Debbie and another van. Debbie's going to take some stuff in the van. Right, so the skip man's just been. So I'm going to ring Glenn, see if he wants me to stay here or head back to Northampton. Oh, I forgot. We had a, another card sent through. Let's have a look. Oh, it's another Easter card from donna oh thank you donna that's beautiful got to mention earlier it would be my nan's birthday today the 5th of april my nan hasn't been with us for for many years but i remember her so fondly well mr warner are you glad today's done i feel more positive that we're on the homeward stretch well there's definitely no furniture in here no we've got a chair a table a table <laughs> <laughs> we got one chair uh, and a TV. Make yourself comfy, Mr. Warner. Have a bit of TV viewing. Well, Mr. Warner, what a week it has been. It's been a week of two halves, hasn't it? No, yes, it's, yes, it's yeah, it has halves. been a week of two halves. Obviously, we got the news that you've got your job. Yeah. Now, I don't know what we can share because you got sent a load of policies yesterday. I did, so I haven't read them yet. Yeah, so I don't know if there's like a social media. Uh, it did ask me what social media we use. There was, okay. was a section for that. Okay, okay, so we better not say too much about that until you've read the social media policy. Yeah. But you have got a job. It is local to mm, Brixham and you are really excited about yeah, it. It's a seasonal job, so we'll just be down there for the summer. I also want to say that next week we have some exciting boat news. In fact, two exciting, exciting boat news. <laughs> yes. We, might, uh, we name uh, our blog Exciting Boat News. Yes, that, watch out for that next week. I just want to say a thank you to Judy and Jim, Janice, Donna and Kathy. Oh, thanks, thanks so much. For thanks for Yeah, thanks. So we're gonna we're gonna cut it there because this video is probably long enough already. Oh, I don't think it's is that it long. Oh, no, I don't, let him know. But don't. No we, prep. we can't keep you chatting, Mr. Warner. You've got no, fans to unload. So right, we will see you next week. Take care. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.